If you're not in a serious relationship, how am I supposed to know that you're even a good man? Okay, side chicks, now let's get information. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick video because I've seen how things is going and I don't know. I feel like I have to like give some guidance. I feel like everybody's lost. I feel like the lines have gotten blurred and whatnot. I think some side chicks are getting out of hand and somebody got to keep y'all in check. Somebody got to bring some order to this disorder, you know? So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to make lives better. You're welcome. So first of all, before we begin, in order to avoid all the mess and confusion, we need to make clear what is a side chick anyway. And I think the biggest misconception is, because some of y'all be giving side chicks a bad name, a side chick is not, and is not to be confused with, a homewrecker. See, now that is where y'all ladies go wrong. Like, y'all take it too far. The goal is not to make him yours. The goal is not to steal no man's. The goal is to have him as a side man. A half man, really, because you're the side chick, so he's your half man. He's your man sometimes, but he ain't your man. You are not the man, and you don't aspire to be the man. Like, this is a special place in hell for homeworkers like if you was with somebody and your intention the whole time was to break that up what's wrong with you leaking all the footage and all the babies popping up like girl no that's not what this is supposed to be cut it out if that's what you want in life you need to find you your own man and be the man and also the side chick is the opposite of the main chick now to be clear it's what you need. Because if you ain't good, you can't be good for anybody else. So I've been single now for a while. I've been on a couple of dates. But really, what I've noticed about myself is, number one, I enjoy my own company maybe too much. And that's fine. Like, everybody's different. Like, everybody needs something else. And where I'm at in my life right now, I'm really focused on, like, my career. I ain't got time to be there for you like that and be supportive with your dreams. And no, you're in my way. Get it together. It all depends on what you want. It's up to you to decide what you want to be in life. And I think this is where we all went wrong. Why do we all think that being the main chick should be the thing? But if you want to be the side chick, that's, that's, a, that's a very noble, noble. I think really it's gotten a lot of flack. But it's a very noble position and a role because like a good side chick is hard to come by and I am here to straighten y'all out because y'all ruining it for everybody. Do you feel like you're up for it? Are you a person that rather be left alone? Are you like really working on yourself? Are you not needy in that way? Could you have a relationship and not post about it every two seconds? Then you might be a side chick you know hey if you know this is what you want welcome to this video if you know you're the main chick type then why are you even watching really now we're gonna get into the benefits and the perks of being the side chick because you know that's what i'm all about number one science why would i want a man that ain't even in a relationship to begin with like if you're not in a serious relationship how am i supposed to know that you're even a good man like that's just science you gotta everything has got to be based on data and scientific evidence and if you're in a relationship that says enough about you as a man like you a good man you a good man you're still a man though but you a good man Number two, you are fulfilling God's plan. First of all, if we only look like, like logistically, there's more women in this earth than men on this earth. In this, on this, obviously, we're not in it. So why could that be? Do you not think that the all-knowing, the all-whatevering God did not plan this out? He knows. We all know men's is dogs. That is just fact. Now, would you rather have him be a dog with a girl that's trying to take everything y'all built together? with a girl that don't care she don't want the headache she just want to have a little fun and when they done she'll send it back to you like come on that's god's work you're making him happy you're making yourself happy their relationship is better because he's less stressed when he goes back to that old boring girl <laughs> And like ultimately you bring joy to the world. That's what side chicks do. That's the joy and the honor of being a side chick. And last but not least, everything is on your terms. You get better presence than the main chick. You know, you can always fake threaten to expose the relationship. If you want to tell him, yo, you better show up here or I am sending this screenshot to your wife. You know, he's gonna be there. I don't care where he at. But again, that is your biggest weapon. So you don't just want to use it for no reason out here looking crazy. Like these, 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 these offset jump offs, you know, allegedly. I don't think he really doing it. I think he is a, a, a faithful man. But if you have 
a half man, you know, you can't just be exposing yourself because then what are you left with? Allegations like, oh, he with me. Like, girl, what you trying to do? Why you trying to claim him for? Seriously, please tag all these girls that are exposing their half man because that is not cool. Y'all giving us all a bad rap and he's not gonna pick you. I just want you here for a couple hours. Give me some cute little presents and bye. Go back to your girlfriend. She waiting on you. I think even Tiffany Haddish said that like Beyonce had to check a girl for touching Jay-Z's chest. First of all, I wouldn't even go there. Be smart picking your half mans. You don't want you don't want no Beyonce smoke. Come on, you want the beehive after you? That's just dumb. Why would you do that in front of the wife? You gotta respect the main chick. Like respect her. You know, like chill. Don't don't be doing that. That, that is just messy. I'm sorry to break it to your mains, but he's gonna cheat on you anyway. You got the the good, the good mans that's not gonna cheat. Yeah, sure, you tell yourself that. I was like that too. I was like, oh my God, I can never cheat on, with somebody. I could never do that to another girl. But again, like if you find out about the cheating, that's the part that hurts. So if nobody finds out and everybody's happier, it's all good. Anywho, that was the video. I gotta go. Your man's just texting me, said he's on the way. We're gonna celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm super excited because I saw the present he got you and it looked pretty cute. And obviously mine's gonna be at least that or better. So I'm excited. Anywho, I gotta go apply some lashes. So bye, I'm out. Go vegan, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Whoa, look at this.